let me show you how to create the turkey stitch. So we're going to come down from the top of the fabric, leaving a tail of thread, and we're going to come up right next to that tail, pull the needle all the way through, and then make a small stitch, anchoring that tail in place. Then you're going to bring the needle up just above that small stitch, all the way through, make a loop, and pass the needle back down just next to where you've come up and then come up again to the right of the loop and pass it back down to the left just anchoring that right hand side of the loop in place come up just above that small stitch back down on the line come up to the right of that half of the loop and back over to anchor it in place it's like a stitch in two halves. So you're making a loop, so you're coming up above the little stitch, making a loop by coming back down, and then you're coming up to the right of the loop, and then a little stitch to anchor just that right hand side of the loop in place. Turkey stitch is sometimes known as turkey work. You can make it in a line as I'm doing, you can make it in a circle, you can make several rows to make it nice and fluffy. I'm just finishing off at the back, just passing the needle through a few stitches and then I would trim the thread. So once you've got your loops, you're gonna take a nice sharp pair of scissors. So these are great little Fiskars embroidery scissors and cut through all of those loops and you want to separate the thread. So obviously if you've got more rows of stitching, you're gonna have more loops to cut through and it's, the whole thing is gonna look a bit fluffier. And then you're gonna give it a nice trim and how short you cut the thread at this stage depends on your design. And then you can just use your needle to separate out those strands. So I prefer to do this with the six strands. It creates more fluffiness. And that's turkey stitch.